Greetings, my movie geeks. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified every time we release a video. 2021 has seen the release of the Snyder Cut, ending the so-called Snyder Trilogy that started with Man of Steel and ended with a Justice League team-up. It was an epic four-hour-long movie that lived up to the hype. Watch my review here. But with James Gunn's The Suicide Squad being released, where exactly does that stand within the existing DCU? The DCU consists of 10 movies released. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 984, Birds of Prey, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Aquaman and Shazam. I suppose 11 if you include both versions of Justice League. And as it stands, they are all still interconnected. It is still a DC extended universe. But if we look at everything set after Justice League, which includes Aquaman, Birds of Prey, Shazam, Tonally Wonder Woman, 984, there has been a shift in tone. After watching The Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman 984, and even Aquaman, you can see the tone that DC want to go in. Especially with characters like Harley Quinn, The Suicide Squad continues this tone, specifically with Harley's scenes, uh, but also with the majority of the characters. I'm not against this shift in tone to bright, colourful and comedic fueled films, but I'll be honest, I did prefer the darker tones of the earlier films. It set it apart from other comic book universes out there. Where does the Suicide Squad stand in the DCEU? From my vantage point at the back of the cinema, it doesn't specifically mention the previous film. James Gunn has said it's not a sequel, but it's more of a reboot. And I can see this, but like I say, from where I was sitting, I'm not too sure. It doesn't go out of its way to ignore the 2016 film. I'd argue it probably is more in favour of the 2016 Suicide Squad existing as there is a relationship between Harley Flagg and Boomerang. They all know each other, they've all been on this team before. Which makes sense because you can still watch that film and then come into the Suicide Squad knowing that they've already had this adventure together. Following on from previous missions. Hashtag Restart the Snyderverse. As said, I'm not against it, and I did have a lot of fun with this film, but I do wonder where the line will be drawn. Will they carry the tone over to other films, like Flash, for instance? There's so many Batman in that film that it's going to be dark and broody at some points. And now it's reported that Henry Cavill is returning as Superman in the Flash movie. As for the Flash movie itself, this will be the decider of how Warner and DC will continue their movie universe. It will reshape the DCU by allowing Warner to erase some movies from existence. It already has two different Batman, and with the news being that Keaton has signed on for three movies, we could be seeing the Flash movie cutting out certain aspects from the early DCU, including Ben Affleck and potentially Henry Cavill. A leaked timeline of the canon DC movies after Flashpoint was released. If this is true, it cuts away a lot of stuff. But leaving the Suicide Squad, you can watch that with either having seen everything that's gone before or not. It, it, it is a standalone film. Nothing really comes in from the outside and it could arguably stay where it is or be moved. And I think that's how Warner Brothers want to play it from now on. I want to see the characters we've watched for the best part of a decade again but it's something that's becoming increasingly harder to believe will happen. I don't agree with boycotting anything that I've seen online, but I'll gladly throw a Restore the Snyderverse hashtag out there every once in a while. But I will still be going to see every DCEU movie that comes out, and I think everyone should. What did you think of the Suicide Squad? Do you think it's a good follow-on from the 2016 Suicide Squad film? Or better, as a standalone film? Is it the first nail in a DCU coffin building to Flashpoint? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Nate the Ultimate Movie Geek, and you can like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified every time we release a video. Thank you for watching.